All right, so these are our Torchbearer cards, our player's deck, as we call it. And I thought we would take you through the contents. So first of all, we have our nice box. It's a little different than your standard tuck box. It has a slip lid. Uh, and it's thick-walled cardstock. I wanted to make something for you guys that would withstand the test of the table and your backpacks. So these are, you, you'll get the cards sealed in little baggies. And there are three sets of cards in here. There's a set of equipment cards, which we'll break out in a second. Uh, there is a set of action cards, the, the action deck, also dropping cards, right. and condition cards. Uh, also in the deck, you get two separator cards, which are a little bit bigger, a little bit taller than the other cards, so that you can divide your cards as you see fit. Maybe you, you're a wizard and you don't need the weapon cards, so you can kind of separate them off and whatever. I, but, the action, but the separator cards also have adventures on them. They're little secret Easter eggs. It's the Spell Tower of Dremitar and the Lair of the Possessed Otiug, both by Tony Dowler. And they have little descriptions on the back. All right, so. Uh, so in, so, sorry, the, I, actually, yeah, let's go down. So the, uh, the equipment deck has weapons. Look at all those weapons. All the weapons. And then the it also has light cards. So it has the three light sources. So there's candle, torch, and lantern. And then on the back, there's the darkness card, the dim light card, and the you are in the light card. So if you are using a torch, you could and you have a buddy, so you, you would take the torch card and then you would hand your buddy or um, or your buddy would flip over there, uh, you're in the light card. Uh, and then if there was other people in the group, of course, they would use their, they would bust out their dim light cards. Uh, up to two more people would use their dim light cards. So one thing that we wanted to show you about the light cards is that we put timer markers on the corners or on the edges for you. So if you're using the torch, the most short-lived light source, your first turn, you leave it up at one. After the first turn, turn it to two. And then at that point, you remove it and relight it. Your, or you play your darkness card because <laughs> you're in darkness. It's the same thing for the lantern. First turn, second turn, third turn. Candle, first turn, second turn, third turn, fourth turn. Never under underestimate the power of a good candle. And then the armor cards. So we have uh, <laughs> uh, helmet and leather and helmet leather chain plate. And then on the, the back of each card, it lists how the armor is damaged and notes that if it's damaged. So if you use your helmet, you know, you take a whack uh, in a fight, you can you know, absorb the blow with your helmet according to the rules and then uh, just flip the, the card over so you know that you now have a damaged helmet. Pretty sweet. Uh, oh, just one other note about these is that all of the weapon cards are um, double-sided because what we found, so it's crossbow, crossbow. What we found is searching for a particular weapon at the table when everything is, you know, one-sided is a real pain in the ass. So we wanted to make it as easy to use as possible. So weapon cards are just weapon cards, spear or crossbow. You're not like saying, oh, what's on the other side of the spear? Is it a sword or anything like that? It's just a spear card. I'm trying to think about how these things are used. All right, and then condition cards. You have all of your conditions. Uh, and then each condition card has a male and female face. So dead and dead. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, fresh, 
and fresh. The action deck. And then these, since these are obviously secret information, what action you're playing. Uh, there's 12 cards and they have a uniform back so that you can be choosing your actions. And the evil dungeon master named Tor Olesrud uh, won't know that you're choosing your deadly maneuver card or that you're just going to go. Each player at the table in Torchbearer should have a player's deck. Game Master should have one. Each player should have one. That way everybody has what light cards they need. Uh, everybody has a set of condition cards. Uh, and everybody has armor and weapons that they need. Um, and they are... $12 each. I feel like it's a pretty good deal. And if you like them, uh, we'll make more of them. We'll make spell cards or all sorts of other stuff, additional equipment cards. Um, but for now, we feel like this is a pretty good um, set for a starting player.